Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony LaRue Duke, and we have two great topics for today's show, in which the first one is people who want everything open fully now. And I stress the word now because they want it open and everything open as of yesterday type of fast. And the second topic is people are refusing to vaccinate. And I'm not saying everybody is, but there are a lot of people who are refusing to vaccinate. And for many different reasons. And I'll get into that in, in just a moment. But let's get into the first topic. People who want everything open fully now, as of yesterday, fast. Listen, I understand that... Um, you know, with the shutting down of everything, and you know, times have been tough for at least a year, and I understand that. But to say you have everything open now, 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 as of yesterday, everything fully open now. Listen, we're not fully out of the woods yet. We're getting a lot of vaccines very, very soon, and very soon there'll be enough for just everybody to get vaccinated. In which that means, um. Hopefully by like May 1st, um, all the places that are doing vaccines will no longer be saying that just 65 and older or, or just this group, just that group. It would, it would mean that everybody can get vaccinated. In which now that there's a lot more different, uh, a lot more different versions of, va of the vaccine, some of uh, which are just um, one dose. And some are two doses. Oh, but either which way, this is a big improvement. And yes, there are things that have started to open. Okay. But we, uh, at the same time, you know, people are, you know, wanting to uh, not wear their mask, not social distance. You know, some are saying, well, I got my shot. I don't need to um, wear my mask anymore and so on and so forth. Listen, you got to give the vaccine two to three weeks to go through your body fully. That's number one. And, you know, if you're, if you're taking a vaccine that needs two doses, uh, you're not fully vaccinated there, moron. Now, if you didn't get vaccinated, at all, I mean, uh, that's self-explanatory, all right? And, um, but now the CDC is saying that for those that are fully vaccinated, okay, they can then be around other people again, go around their loved ones and hug them and stuff, and that's a big improvement. But again... That's only for those that are fully vaccinated. Seriously, not half vaccinated, not not vaccinated, but fully vaccinated. So, uh, and that's why, you know, hopefully by, by May 1st, there'll be enough vaccines for just everybody to get vaccinated. And then there's going to be, you know, the distribution of the vaccines. That's going to, you know, that needs to improve. There's got to be a lot more places doing the, vac uh, the vaccines and stuff. So, you know, it's going to be tough to get a scheduled date and time to get vaccinated and everything. But we need a lot more places to do it. Okay. And in every section, every little nook and cranny of every corner, whatever, there's got to be plenty of places to do the vaccinations. And then hopefully, as President Biden stipulated, then hopefully um, by, you know, for the July 1st, pe people can just then, uh, you know, celebrate the 4th of July in a normal way and stuff like that. You know, people have to do their part too because, like I said, we're not out of the woods yet. 
And if you're not doing your part as well, if you're not getting vaccinated for whatever reason, then you're not part of the solution. You're part of the problem. Okay? So we don't want to regress because you know what? What would happen if we have a big second wave? You know, a, you know, a big setback that when everything has to shut down again. So it's time to start to use the fucking brain, people. Stop being stupid all of your life. Start to use your brain. Start to listen. Start to obey by the rules and regulations. Now that brings me to the second topic of today's show. There are still lots of people that are refusing to vaccinate. And for many different reasons. Some are just saying, because I don't want to vaccinate. I'll just do whatever I feel like. I'll just keep going around unmasked, not social distancing, coughing on everybody. You know, really, there's plenty of people out there that are doing this. And the uh, then there's people who say, who turn around and say, I'm not vaccinating because of my religious beliefs. Really? You're using that excuse? You know, so I'm glad that, you know, government is starting to wake up. And I sincerely hope that for the New York City Board of Education, you know, in which I have been in contact with the mayor and the head of the New York City Board of Education, in which I made the suggestion that um, in order for, you know, for, for students and, and teachers and the rest of staff to return back to school for in-person uh, teaching and learning, you know, full-time or whatever, they have to prove that the children, that they're all, uh, the teachers and the staff and everybody, that they're all fully vaccinated. You know, and it's not a hard job to prove that because after you get your vaccination, they give you the card to prove that you got your vaccination. So how hard is it to keep a little fucking card inside your goddamn wallet? Seriously, you fold it up and you put it in your wallet. And you, that's your proof, that's your physical evidence, legal documentation proving you got fully vaccinated. So, and then for those that re that still don't want to vaccinate and who don't want to get the children vaccinated, then guess what? The D the, the Board of Education needs to say, if, if uh, for any of those that do not get vaccinated, you cannot return to, uh, to the school property and you just have to stay home and do the virtual learning, the virtual teaching and so on and so forth. That's what you got to do. It's important to do that. Okay? And for the pieces of crap out there of parents who say, well, that's not right to do that to the children. They need to be around people. Listen, this is the problem. This is about health reasons, especially for the all the other kids, the staff, the teachers, and everybody else. Okay, you made the decision not to vaccinate your kids. They cannot be going back to school at all. They cannot be on the school grounds or anything else because, uh, unless they're fully vaccinated. If you don't like that rule, you take your kid and put him into a religious school or keep him at home. And do the virtual learning. It's not that they won't be able to get their education; they can still do their, do their get their education at home on a virtual learning thing. Okay. Or if you don't like the the uh, uh, the city and state rules and regulations, move the hell out. Go to a go to a state into a city where you would feel more comfortable, where they uh where they don't have any rules and regulations in their cities and stuff like that. Move the hell away. 
That's it. If you want to walk around with your brain up your ass and act like a stupid piece of crap, then you're going to uh, be treated like a stupid piece of crap. And you deserve to be treated like a stupid piece of crap. That's it. Plain and simple. Okay? And for those that are hiding behind religious beliefs and whatever, you take your kid out of public school and you put him into a religious school. Because these rules and regulations that are set by the city, by the city government officials, are only for public schools. They don't control religious schools. That's controlled by the Grand Kai Puba of all religiondom. That's a whole different set of rules and regulations. That's a whole different way of doing things. So if you don't like the rules and regulations of the New York City elected officials for the New York City public schools, too bad. Don't put your kid in a public school then. Keep him at home. Put you know, put him in a religious school or move to another city or state where there's where everybody is lax a daisy. That's it. Plain and simple. Honestly. So um the people really just got to need, you know, really need to use their brains. And because, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. We're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. So, and we can't afford to regress. We can't afford for people to screw up. We've come too far. And we're almost there. So it's time to not screw things up so that way we can move forward, so that way we can properly reopen. Honestly. So time to do things a smart way. Really. It, it, it's just baffling how many people just refuse to use their brain. They don't want to listen. And you know what? Um, maybe the, they have not been to enough funerals. Maybe they really didn't lose enough loved ones due to the COVID-19. Seriously. And I, you know what? I hope that they don't lose any uh, family members or lo any other loved ones due to the COVID-19. I really hope they don't. You know, but maybe they should see those that are suffering in the pain, in the pain of the... Uh, that have the COVID-19. Maybe they should look at the pictures of the, you know, of people that are in that sort of pain and what they go through. Maybe they should have to be forced by courts to say, you know what? You need to go uh, be around the families of those that are losing their loved ones, that have lost their loved ones to the COVID-19. Be around them and see the pain and the misery and the heartache, honestly, and then half a bit, if, if they lose loved ones, you know, what's going to happen to those that are walking around saying, I'm not going to wear a mask. And half a bit, if they lose a loved one due to the COVID-19, Really? Hmm. Then what are they going to say? Really? How are they going to feel then? Are they going to say, listen, I walk around with my effing brain up my ass. 
I don't, I'm too stupid to comprehend the rules and regulations and obey by them. And now, because God forbid, if, if they, you know, if they catch or, or even distribute the COVID-19 to a loved one, hey, how are you going to feel then? Huh? Then what? What are they going to say to the rest of their family members? Well, you know, I'm sorry, you know. Or, you know, to anyone else's family that uh, they may give the virus to. What are they going to say? You know, huh? Sorry, you know. Honestly. What are they going to say? Oh, well, you know, uh, oh, oh, well. Is that what you're going to do? Is that what you're going to say? Honestly. So, better start to use the fucking brain. Really. So, but anyways, we are on the right track. We are. And we need to stay on that. So that way we can get past that finish line. And we can reopen properly. So, like I said, we're almost there. We're almost there. So anyways, after I'm done hosting this show, I will host another episode of my show, Advocate Information Highway on YouTube. And I want to remind all my fans out there, don't forget to go to my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway. The link to there is awldny.com. You guys could check out all the pages on there. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.